The Holy Eucharist is arguably the most central and also the strangest ritual that the Church observes. We eat a wafer of bread, drink a sip of wine, and we say that we have just received the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. What does it mean? Well, after 2,000 years of theologians and mystics reflecting upon it, practicing it, we still don't know. And the good news is we really don't have to. In this Bread of Life discourse that we see in the sixth chapter of John's Gospel, Jesus tells us plainly that he is the bread of life. Now, the nice thing about bread or any food is that we don't have to understand even a little, let alone fully, the mechanism by which it nourishes us in order to be nourished by it. A newborn infant can't even begin to articulate how it works to imbibe food, digest it, and receive energy and nourishment from it. And yet she does all the same. The same holds true with the Eucharist. Many of us have had the experience, maybe in early childhood or at other points in our lives where our minds just weren't quite working as we might like them to, of experiencing the power of the Eucharist without having any verbal understanding of what was going on. And that's exactly how it works. Jesus is the bread of life. He's something that we can literally consume into our bodies and receive his power, his grace, his wisdom, all the gifts that he has to offer, whether we're understanding what's going on or not. So the call on us is very simple. Let's just keep coming to the communion table when we understand it, when we don't, when we want to, when we don't. No matter what, Jesus is the bread of life, and he promises to nourish us then and there in the way that we need the most.